So when you came to Atlanta and your son gets into this group and he's doing well, you're his mother. How did you make sure that people didn't take advantage of him? I was assertive. Okay, I did my homework. Well, it looks like Miss Johnetta either didn't do her homework well or she knew what was happening to Usher and didn't do nothing. I mean, by now you've already heard all the crazy things that Usher allegedly went through when he was being mentored by P. Diddy, right? So I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. However, a lot of people have also been wondering, where was Usher's mother while her teenage son was allegedly sharing a bed with a grown man. Like there have always been talks about how much of a great mother she was for being so involved with Usher's career. My mother has contributed everything to who I am and what I am as a person, as a human being. So it's hard for a lot of people to believe that she didn't know what was going on. Did she let it go without saying anything? Did she have any power in preventing it? Here's the thing. When Usher was first signed to LaFace Records, as a young teen, his mom gave him to Diddy as a mentor. And at 14 years old, Usher moved to New York to stay with Diddy. Remember, Usher went to stay with Puffy. Now that was a business decision right there because I didn't know Puffy. I didn't know him. But for years, it has always been said that Diddy did more than just mentor Usher. Other than exposing him to adult stuff as a teen, there have also been rumors that Diddy also took advantage of Usher. So Puffy was there. And I will never forget it. We had this conversation and he said, you're going to have to trust me. Now, do you want to tell me that Usher's mom was not seeing what was happening? Yet literally everyone else saw how much Usher was being exposed to some weird things. Ed Lover even once recalled a time when he went to the club and Usher was drinking himself crazy. And I look to my right and there's a kid, a kid standing there drinking champagne. Oh no. And I couldn't help but wonder who the hell let their child come into this club, stand in the VIP section, and drink champagne. I mean, guzzling champagne out the bottle. Then he said that it was only after Usher's album dropped that he realized that the child with P. Diddy at the club guzzling champagne at the VIP section was Usher. And Usher himself said that when he was living with Diddy, he got to witness things that a teenager should never be exposed to. What I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh, he also spilled during an interview with Essence magazine that Diddy really did expose him to some nasty things. According to the magazine, Usher was very calm when he was asked about other things, but when the talk turned to his time living with P. Diddy, Usher became surprisingly restrained and he simply said, I wanna save some stuff for my book one day. I'll put it this way, there was a lot of stuff. And when he was asked whether as a dad he would ever send his son to Puffy Flavor Camp, his answer was pretty clear. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Keep in mind that when it comes to the things Diddy himself did to prove that he should have never been left with Usher, the receipts are endless. For instance, there was a time when Diddy admitted while he was drunk that he used to wake up with Usher. My brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you Kevin Hart's reaction when Diddy was saying whatever he was saying spoke volumes. Let's not even begin with Usher's reaction because he looks hella embarrassed. And I don't know about you, but the way Diddy always behaved around Usher was a little bit sus. Take your time with him. Breathe it in. Yeah, they yours and we go see this for you. This ain't for nobody else but you. You take your time, boy. I see you. Fly ass motherfucker, baby. You were in the kitchen. Eating all my cereal. <laughs> Let's also not forget that there has also been questionable tea on Usher, but maybe that's all because of what Diddy exposed him to when he was growing up under his wing. But since you're in Atlanta, you can take us in a little bit more. So what is the word on the street and what that marriage is about? <laughs> we, we're going to hold that for a later date. But okay. what you think you heard is what on the, what's on the street. Okay, so he's how you doing. Yeah, we know what Wendy Williams and Dwight Eubanks meant by saying Usher was how you doing. 
There were also reports some time back that Usher found the time to have some good time in a gay club after some Broadway shows. According to someone who also went to the club, everyone was in Usher's dressing room drinking champagne when someone came up with an idea that they should go to a club. That's when the source claimed the group went to a popular gay nightclub saying, we weren't looking for a gay club. It just happened. I mean, most of us were gay, so we just went to a place we knew. Interesting much? Apparently, that's when the night began to heat up as the source said there were half naked men everywhere and Usher didn't seem to mind. Then, according to the source, Usher struck up a conversation with an older gentleman, and he even explained the situation, saying, Usher was talking up in this guy's face. I thought the two of them were going to start kissing. At first, I couldn't believe my eyes, but then I thought, this is Chelsea, so anything goes. The source also said, about 20 minutes after we got there, a crowd started to form around Usher, and we decided that it was time to leave. We all had a lot of fun, though. Then, when asked whether Usher had a good time also, the source said, I know he did. And do you remember when several people claimed that Usher gave them her? Herpes. A woman named Quantasia Sharpton, along with a Jane Doe and a John Doe, sued Usher, claiming that they all had relations with Usher, and they all said he risked their health by not telling them about his alleged diagnosis and were seeking unspecified damages. The woman who did not identify herself said that she slept with Usher at least twice, and after contracting herpes from him, her twins were stillborn. Apparently, stillbirth is a direct consequence of giving birth while infected with herpes. But I am more interested with the John Doe, who claimed he had a night with Usher at a Koreatown spa in Los Angeles. Let's just say that a lot of people were not having a hard time believing the John Doe because if Diddy really put Usher through everything that has been said, maybe part of it stayed with him. At this point, I think Usher's mom probably knew and it's most likely one of the things that haunts her and she will never forgive Diddy. Well, you see how you've been wondering whether Usher's mom knew what was going on? Howard Stern had the same concerns and when he asked Usher about it, Usher said his parents didn't know nothing. Parents were Mary okay. J. Blonde. Gosh, they ain't know nothing about this. Apparently, in Kim Porter's tell-all book that was supposed to come out before she died, she also wrote that Usher's mom confronted Diddy when she found out about what was happening. Okay, but what exactly did she do after finding out what was happening? Because as far as I'm concerned, there was no repercussions at all. She literally just continued to focus on Usher's career. I am the person that makes the magic happen. And I want to spend my time you know, working on making it perfect. Guys, let me know what you think, because I don't want to imagine that Usher's mom knew and did nothing. Do you think that she knew what was going on even earlier? Do you really think she confronted Diddy about the allegations that were making rounds? Sound off in the comments section below, and don't forget to check out this next video.